troubled side of life There's a bright and a sunny side too Though we all must travel through the dark side We must always keep the sunny side in view Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side and Keep on the sunny side of life It will help us every day, it will brighten all our way It will keep on the sunny side of life Good morning, good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Well, thank you. Yourself? We're looking very good. Mr. Duckworth is here, too. How do you do? Good morning, Mark. <laughs> Christ, don't you guys ever go to bed or anything? Oh, no, no. Too much to do. Great to see your beavers. Incredible. Yeah. They look really nice. Oh, I think they're beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Cool, Martin. It's relaxing to, uh, uh, to polish the damn thing, actually. He said he felt the same way about doing dishes. <laughs> A really nice looking plane. Uh, let's sit down and find out what uh, what's possible to uh, as far as controlling the aircraft and how close and what's the type of thing we should try to do. Well, there's a maneuver called a stall turn, which is what you're thinking of where the aircraft is pulled up and then just before it's completely loses its flying speed, it's tipped over yeah. and dives down. Yeah. But of course, then again, there's this position. We always have to be moving, yeah. So yeah. we've got to try to time it so X, X reaches Y. Why the, yeah. the yeah. camera aircraft would be going in a circle. Okay. Oh. Now, there are a whole bunch of other maneuvers that come back. We had good omens today. Did we? What were they? The, the, the chicken that you killed is all like that. All the trappings of the personality that are are built up and uh, maintain a fantastic protective structure around you. 
the time of an, in, an injury like this, I mean, your, your total self-constructed or constructed personality is demolished in the in the uh, in the accident, and and when you're just lo you're meat, you're lying on the table, you're just essentially what you are. The part of me that was left was just arbitrarily looking at it and saying, well, no. You could be dead, or you could be alive. It doesn't make any difference, you know. Oh yeah. And and the people that are coming to see me also could be dead, and it wouldn't make any difference. All we are is energy. Yeah. And if I'm not here in this form, I'll be in some other form. Yeah. You know. Like I never made a, I've never once made a conscious decision to stay alive. Oh no. Although apparently all that time during the airplane. Uh -huh. I mean, I was, I was going on for four hours while I was trapped in the airplane, telling this and that and talking, and yeah. I don't know what all I said. And that was all totally unconscious. I, I, I didn't do it at all. It was something more basic than that taking over. For you. Yeah. What do you want? It? Oh, for me. Beautiful. Some demon of a closet simulation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the reason you like it best is because you know it's going to be... Isn't that sweet? We miss Mrs. you and love you. Yeah. Yeah. The guys at Cine Mission. Yeah. That's Jenny Prejina. Jenny Prejina. That's really amazing. What do you want, Martin? It's the pilot's wife. together in an instant in time, so close. Yeah. I mean, he was like maybe, maybe four feet in front of me. That far away to me now, and then now he's dead and I'm alive. And I just don't know why, and I don't know what the rationale for it is. But you know, I'll always remember him. I don't know. Funny thing. Yeah. Sweeping across the field. Isn't that beautiful? It must have been just about exactly what it sounded like right after the crash. Just that wind. It's a very confusing thing what happened that day. Very confusing thing. I don't know why the plane did what it was doing, and I don't even really know why they were there. The whole thing is, the whole thing does not look like something I would do.
the mythology that I developed up until that time didn't accept things like falling 2,600 feet bang into the ground. So my mind had to say, wait a minute, what's going on here? I go to for something else. Tiff sent you in the hospital. Well, that's me there, right? You may have a beard, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that's me. And that's almost certainly Tiff well, because it has different. long hair. Her hands are up as though she were celebrating the sun. I think it's lovely. Like the sun is very, very evident to children for all the world. It should be evident to everybody. But it's even more evident to children always. They always draw the sun in their eyes. And they're for truth for some reason. I certainly am stoned since the accident. Oh, and I didn't realize it in the hospital, but now that I get out here, I am very much affected by, uh, by everything. Uh, I'm getting a lot more, I mean, everything I see, especially the sun and the light and the trees and the broken light around here and in this room, is very much getting to me. And the, the beautiful eight by 10 still photographs that keep unfolding out that window down there, the sensational in-depth textures. What I was realizing is lying in the hospital bed there, and I was thinking about my life, and I realized I'm not making a movie now. And I started to think about the facts of what I was going to do or could do, and I found out I had just absolutely zero, no life at all, which was good. I just lay there completely neutral. I said, oh, that's interesting. I'm not making a movie now. I'm just lying here. Oh, yeah, I am just lying here. You know, it's amazing. But maybe that was like being killed. That crush, because I should have been, in fact, killed, you know. I would think that my personality and my way of looking at things was as clean as it ever had been. You know, I suppose that's what, what we're all trying to get to be. Just, just to completely open to everything. With Christian, we see everything. Side in here. 